You can start with crypto for absolutely zero for free. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Basically, the idea is to be eligible for a bunch of airdrops while doing some tasks on the testnets. Testnets are usually launched by blockchain or layer two blockchains to uh, test some features before launching on the mainnet. And it's a great opportunity to try playing around. It's basically free. And then you can basically be eligible for the tokens that are on the mainnet that you can sell, which are worth something. So I'm going to get you through a bunch of the uh, test nets right now that you can start playing around for free. Uh, and maybe you'll be eligible for one of the airdrops. So let's start. First of all, you of course will need MetaMask or another wallet like Trust Wallet. I recommend MetaMask, that's the thing I use. Uh, so go to metamask.io, install that if you haven't done that already, of course, and start with MetaMask. Second thing, uh, you want to get some girly ETH. So girly is basically one of the test nets for Ethereum. Ethereum, of course, launched in 2015, already a bunch of years, seven years ago. Uh, so you won't be able to get the, any kind of airdrop from uh, Ethereum, but you can still get for free uh, Ethereum on the testnet. Those are not worth anything, but you can uh, use them to pay for gas on the testnet, on the girly testnet. Uh, here on the girlyfaucet.com, you need to create, a you need to register with your uh, with uh, Alchemy, and basically you will be able to claim up to 0.1 girly ETH per day. You just put your address, and that's it. Second thing you can do is you can go to usdfaucet.com and basically do the same thing. You don't have to register or anything. Just put your blockchain address that you got with MetaMask here, submit, and you will get free USDC on the testnets. Those are, again, those are not worth anything. They are not um, worth $1 per USDC. Those are just for testing reasons. Okay, having done that, you should already have some ETH, some USDC, and you can start playing around with a bunch of infrastructure. So starting with layer zero, layer zero, I've been speaking about that in my previous video. So I want to rec uh, recommend that first as well. Basically you can connect with um, your MetaMask wallet here, usdcdemo.layer0.network. The link will be down below as to the links to everything. And basically try to use the bridge, try to bridge basically from Gerli testnet, uh, the USD you got to uh, Avalanche and back. You can use that as well because you can use the faucet AVAX down below uh, and that's it. And maybe you'll be eligible for the airdrop for layer zero if they launch a token. Second thing you can do is ZK Sync. Uh, ZK Sync is a roll up. So it means it's a layer two to Ethereum, meaning that it wants to make Ethereum more scalable by taking a bunch of transactions, bundling that, verifying and then sending back. What you need to know is basically there's a bridge on a girly testnet again. So girly if you have that uh, and you can use that to send it to uh, ZK Sync and back. And I would recommend doing that because you will be able to uh, you'll be able to maybe be eligible for the ZK Sync airdrop. They still haven't done that. Uh, alternatively, also, you can get girly if from them. You can click on the faucet and basically they will uh, uh, make you tweet something about uh, ZK Sync and then you will receive your girly tokens. Pretty cool as well, more girly if for you. Okay, going forward, we have StarkNet. Uh, I've been talking about the StarkNet already, another uh, rollup, ZK rollup, uh, so another layer two to Ethereum. And you can also use the gate on the girly, uh, on the girly testnet to Ethereum. So going to the upper left corner, if it's not already chosen to be girly, you can choose to girly. And again, you can uh, use a bridge to go from Ethereum to Starknet and back. And I would recommend doing that because again, Starknet has not launched it, uh, its token yet. Maybe it will launch it and will uh, reward all the people that use the bridge. That's the, uh, that's the hope here. Finally, so this is all on the MetaMask. Finally, uh, we have SWE, uh, SWE blockchain, very similar to Aptos blockchain when it comes to the language because it's built on a move smart language contract. And here you need to use another wallet. Going to sui.bluemove.net, this is an NFT marketplace, uh, but it has two things. So first of all, if you click on connect wallet, you basically go to the website where you have a bunch of wallets. You can choose the first one, Sui wallet, and you get a new wallet on Sui. Uh, this is built by the Sui team itself. Now going back and after connecting and setting up that wallet, uh, which is totally free, again, you can use the Sui faucet. Sui faucet is basically, uh, Again, claiming free SWE uh, tokens on the testnet. 
And with those tokens, you basically need to wait to interact with some of the apps, but you can explore the NFT marketplace and maybe you'll be able to buy uh, some of it. So this is what I recommend, both on Sui, ZK Sync, uh, Starknet, as well as Layer Zero. So as you can see, there's plenty of stuff you can do, even if you have absolutely no money, because for that thing, everything I, I have spoken here in this video is basically uh, free. Not even basically, it's definitely free. Uh, no no payment, my payment whatsoever. You just need to set up a MetaMask wallet, a SWE wallet if you want to interact with SWE and that's it. And by doing those kind of interactions, you're hoping that once there is a crypto airdrop, you'll be eligible for one for using the application before and testing. Of course, the more things you do, on test nets or just writing on discord maybe getting some roles on discord the better for you the, the the bigger chance you have to increase your chance to get the airdrop so thank you for watching subscribe to the channel for more crypto news crypto updates and see you in the next episode